the velocity profile equation for laminar flow, which we derived last time was. Now, we need this velocity equation to derive the volume flow rate on a circular pipe. At the center line of the pipe, where the radius is zero, our flow have the velocity given by. This is the maximum velocity which occurs at the pipe center. To simplify our velocity profile even more, we shall use this maximum velocity notation. Now, to derive the flow rate, we consider a ring with the infinitesimal thickness dr at any distance r from the center of the pipe. We will find the volume flow rate through this infinitesimal thickness first, then the total volume flow rate can be attained by integration. Within the time dt, the fluid covers the distance L equals V dt. And the liquid takes up the volume of area times length. And the area of this circular segment is 2 pi r times dr. Thus the small flow rate is obtained if we divide the volume by time. The volume flow rate through the entire pipe is finally obtained by integrating this equation with respects to the radius r within the limits from r equals 0 to r equals r. This integration is possible since the flow is asymmetric about the center line. Now, let us solve this integration. After solving, we get the flow rate as. Now, substitute our center line velocity, we get the volume flow rate through this pipe. As, with all these parameters fixed, an increase in diameter by a factor of 2 will increase the flow rate by a factor of 2 power 4, which is 16. The flow rate is very strongly dependent on pipe size. I shall describe this dependence on next video. So stay awesome.